Hello everybody, this is Bud Rich and in this video we will do some refactoring here to our BWP script as I briefly mentioned in the last uh, uh, video. What I want to do is to, to have some sort of similar structure as I have on this script, the i3locks here for instance where I have different functions in, in their own file. So let's uh, let's uh, see and, and and this is the version of bwp where we uh, last uh, 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 where we left off this doesn't have any of the um, uh, wallpaper functionality here now so i cannot change wallpaper with bwp even that doesn't matter uh, when we are refactoring we don't care about and also this wallpaper is kind of nice isn't it um, so, refactor, 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 creating files. Let's uh, uh, start by creating this lib directory here. And then uh, um, store a function. I don't think we have many functions here. Get random wall is, uh, and add to library. And on wall, and I, I, I just like to name the files the same thing as the function. Uh, it, it, it's really good to do so, but it's it doesn't matter at all what we name these files and then Cut that paste it into get random function And then we have add the library I like to name them SH to get this beautiful uh, icon in Sublime here because I'm stupid. Uh, steal that, put here. And we have these error functions. Uh, those, uh, I, I think we can keep all of them in the same file, but let's add them to a file at least. I can call that error. Save. Now that was all we had here. I will create at least one function in this uh, video. Get top part here. Uh, I think uh, makes sense to keep here. Uh, you know this part here, where all, all this does is it will um, set this wall variable. That's the only reason for this. And this could also be a, a, a function, it should be a function. So let's do this. Get wall. It's a good name for that. Uh, and then we can just write it here. This. Uh, just take a look here. Yeah, and then instead of setting this variable, we 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 print it like this. And here, this is this part. Let's do this then. Uh, base deed is the name, right? Or deed name, isn't it? Yeah. This and then we can remove that. Remove this because now we don't want to set the, the variable here. We just echo this stuff stuff out, and then yeah, then the variable will get set from here instead. Ah, this also tests for arguments here, so we should pass those arguments to. To get wall as well. Uh, get random wall, add to library. Mm. And here we just echo. And we got that. So this should work. And then we can save this in a file as well. Get wall. Dot 
Um, okay, that's a little bit more easy to manage. This um, script than what we had before. We have this help message thing here. Um, I think that maybe we should move that to uh, the get opts part here. Makes sense to have it close to the get opts. Uh, and I don't know about you, but maybe, maybe also remove this text and only have like the options here. I think that's fine for a help uh, screen. And we also don't have, uh, I think every script should have a, a H and a V uh, option, option. So you can print the version information or just print the help if you need it. So let's remove this. Uh, this is better to keep in a man page or, or a, a readme file or something. So you get uh, a, don't get too, too much output in the terminal. Uh, let's also add this h uh, print this help wp v print version info. Then we add that here h and v. Um, and here, here you can see, it, it's nice to have this uh, close to the get-ups because then it's really easy. If we add an option, we, it, it's also really easy to, to not forget uh, how to, uh, to also add it to, to this documentation. Because I think that's, that, that's very, very good to, to all keep this up to date with the options we have here. And now we don't have to scroll to the top every time. Because this main function, uh, you never know, sometimes it grows and uh, the main function, even when you have a structure like this, yeah, as we could see here on i3 locks, the main function it, it is quite large here. Um, and that happens, that happens. Right, um, should also, okay. Also found a way here, uh, remember this bwp and then we, we just take an option that doesn't exist q for instance here it, it, it's not part of this list and then we should get this uh, ah, now we get a bunch of, of errors here because now it doesn't know what to do because it cannot find our functions that we have added to the library here okay uh, make a mental note to, to remember to show you this thing because now we have to take care of this before anything else okay we got our lib directory here this is the these two, three, four that are backups uh, or different versions of, of this script that I keep here in the same directory, whatever, ignore them. Um, but we can see here, we have the lib directory in the same directory as the BWP script here. So if we want to source these files, we could just add a, a yeah, source uh, command here. Source um, lib slash sh and then we source get wall it was complaining about as well now bwp q and there uh, now we, now it seems like it's working we get back to this because this uh, doesn't really work but whatever uh, when I when I entered an option that didn't uh, exist or wasn't defined we get this uh, error message and then it prints not a valid option. If you remember, I, I, I complained that it would be nice to, to print the, the option that was invalid, so to speak. And I found a way to do this. Um, we can just use uh, opt-in again. We can create a, a, a placeholder variable here. Um, because this will, whatever. Um, let's call it OC. Or CO current option is equal to opt-in minus one. Um, and then we can test this here. CO, try the command again. Now it says one, not a valid option, but that, that's not what we want, you know. We want uh, the content of one, so to speak. 
the content of one is you can write that like this. Um, of course, the, 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 yeah, this should work, but it's a dirt hack. That, now it says dash q. This is what we wanted to be, but uh, we need to do this opt in thing uh, because um, it could be a, a, a different uh, position in, in the argument list. So, so to print the, the, the content of this, you can use an exclamation mark and then the number here. Then it will actually, yeah, this works. I know it's, it's weird, but it works. So this works now, no. God damn it, I got it working before. Ah, it's this dollar here. No. There, Q not a valid option. And if we would have a valid option um, and uh, an invalid option here, then it still works. Because now uh, CEO was two here. Whatever, it's nice to have this. And if we also want to add this H and V, th those are kind of default uh, options here that I would like to test for every time. And then maybe we should do something, something special with that. Either continue to build on this if else thing, but in one way, now it kind of makes sense to, to use a case uh, O in. And then we can test for B. Uh, print def uh, percentage s backslash n BWP version 0 0.3, whatever. If it's H, um, then we just do ERH to print the help screen. If it's a question mark, then we do this part. Then we don't need this stuff here. And if it is something else, it's a valid option, a normal option, then it will do this. Should also exit here. This also we should do an ESAC B prints the version, exits H prints the help screen, ERH. Now we get some blank clients and stuff. We we we, we might take care of that some some other time. But now th th this is kind of nice. Um, but this will not work, as I said, um, if we, for example, go to the home directory and try to execute BWP uh, with V here now. Now we get errors, because now it doesn't find these files. It only worked because we, we were in the same uh, directory as, as the script here. Because these are relative paths. They are not absolute. So it looks here now for libr in, in the current working directory. It will uh, append the this path to the current working directory uh, and the current working directory is the same is the directory we executed the script from it's not the scripts uh, directory itself so for this to work we need uh, need to, to find the, the scripts directory um, to do so we can use uh, um, uh, uh, um, you know Let's comment everything out quickly. We can use dollar zero for example, because dollar zero uh, contains the, the command that was executed. And here we can see the directory homebud bin, but this is actually not the directory we, we want to, to get to, you know. Because this directory only contains symbolic links here to my ac actual scripts. Here we have BWP, but the, the, the real path to BWP 
have to use read link bwp and there we can see that it is in this location and it's this directory that we uh, need um, so so but we could use read link on dollar zero of course and then it uh, then it will work store this in a variable called source or something this 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 and to get the directory source dir is equal to source percentage slash star donk and then <coughs> oops sorry echo source dir try bwp now it echoes the correct uh, uh, directory one problem though is that if we are in this directory and execute bwp in this way you know because you can also execute a script if it's not in your path or whatever you can specify the full path to a script and execute it like th that and if we do that then uh, read link here, here will return nothing because this now dollar zero is not a li link echo dollar zero dollar zero here this is dollar zero now um, and then read link is blank but if you add the f option here then it will work then uh, f means uh, follow symlink so it will follow to the source file and even if it if if it is the source file, it will print the correct file. And this is really good to use. Another thing is that we could also use this um, bash source, which is a somewhat more reliable uh, way to retrieve uh, uh, the, the path to, to the current script. We will see no difference here, but this is actually even better. So by using this now, uh, then it shouldn't be any problem to source our uh, library files. Just add that here, and then we prefix this with srcdir slash lib. So this should work. Um, there, no option, no woman, no action, no cry. Everything seems to be working. Um, Uh, now we get, uh, but now uh, it doesn't find the other functions here, the get random wall function and so on, uh, which is used inside get wall here. So we need to add all of these files to our source list here, and and that is another thing that is kind of annoying. Uh, so instead we use a, a for loop here, for uh, f in src dir slash Star. and it's important that the star is uh, not inside quotes do source f done this should work now all files will get included ah no 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 source there this doesn't work now it's sourced all files here uh, because this is source there we need to specify the lib directory so that's why uh, yeah now it should work there now we get a random uh, random uh, uh, image here and if we want to add more functions now which we want because this is uh, where, where we left off in the or what i showed you in the that last demo video i think this is the one and here you can see I've, i have added a lot of functions yeah i don't know how many but uh, 10 at least one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 30, plus the error functions. So at least 14 files here, and, and, and then you can see it, it, it gets much easier to manage this when, when we add all of those files. But maybe this is enough for this video. This is a way to do this, but there are some weird uh, drawbacks by doing this. One is that I get a bunch of errors here now, or, or warnings from Shellcheck. Here it says that help message appears to be unused, but it isn't unused, we use it here. And here we, we probably get... Um, I have to... It's weird, it should prompt me for an error in, in that as well. Ah, it, it also gets weird with the syntax highlighting here. Uh, maybe I should name it bash instead. I just find the extension so, so long and ugly, but now I guess I get the wrong. Yeah, and, and now shell check works, and now it warns me here that it isn't referenced instead. We also get an error for not having a shebang. You get a bunch of these linter problems when, when you source files uh, like this. So that's, that's one uh, drawback of, of doing this. And if you use shellcheck, then, then that is actually quite annoying. Uh, another thing is um, that it gets kind of difficult to, to uh, share this file now. Now uh, it's no, no longer just uh, one file. Um, now we have to, to share this whole directory and have to make sure that uh, whoever uh, uses this script places this lib directory in the same directory as the script and so on. It's just inconvenient and also or if you want to make a package or something and want to install this uh, then you have to install all the other scripts as well. It, uh, everything gets a lot more complicated uh, when you have a directory instead of a single script. And this version does exactly the, the same thing as uh, our single script version did, you know. So it is possible to have everything in a single file. And in the only thing we need to do really is to replace these lines with the content of the content of all files here. And that that is not uh, impossible to do that. And generate this this is what I do. That's what I do here with i3 locks. Here we can see the main file. It looks like this. And then I source files here at the bottom, I source this init, which in turn source all these lib files. But then I also keep a, a, a copy of, of the same script, where all files are included in, into one single file like this. But as you can see, it's just really, it, it, it's too much to work with, in my opinion. It's much easier to have it, have it when, when you're developing or, or writing scripts to keep them like this. But when you want to share them, it's good to have a single file. And also here you get the uh, shell check uh, uh, understands what's going on. It gets uh, weirded out when you source files. This is like, I don't know if it's, wh why it is so uh, uh, difficult for shell check to, to include source files like this, but whatever. So, but I thought let, let's wait a bit with that, how to compile, so to speak, a, 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 a version like this with all files included. It, it, it is no, nothing complicated really, but uh, it's, a, it's in a way too much of a sidetrack. I think let's keep it like this now till we are done, till we have reached, you know, our uh, this point when we have this nice uh, uh, polybar control and stuff, and then maybe we could could have another refactor um, video and, and see if we can fix these uh, drawbacks that we have here by, by keeping the script like this. Whatever. Maybe this could be moved here. Let me think about it. Maybe, maybe not. But I think this is nice uh, as it is now. This is how it looks like now, this is how it looked like before, and, and we haven't even started with this script. When we are done with everything, with the lock screen and the screensaver stuff and, and so, so on, then it is 
well, the, this version, my old i3 locks here, it is actually less... Uh, I think this is less code than, than the one I have here because I added much more functions with this library stuff. Yeah, you can see this is 370 lines and I haven't even added the lock screen and stuff to it yet. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Adding these lines name of library directory then you can just add functions here and we don't have to care about what what they are named or anything i guess another thing maybe we should do before we end here i create now an f a global variable here called f when i do this loop that is not a good id and we do the same thing here we create a global variable called o because this is all done in the main part of the script and i create this co variable here I think it's a very good idea to do this. F O and C O. That will uh, kind of yeah unset those variables. They no longer exist for for the script. <clears throat> okay, okay. I know some other improvements we could do, but uh, I, I I think this is a good uh, place to take a break. And the next video we will add uh, finally. Uh, uh, a function that will actually set the walls. We can start changing wallpaper and stuff. And and believe me, to get to this point, uh, I, I I think we can add um, rename history and everything in in um, two videos maximum. Maybe even one video to add all all the functions I have here, and then one video to, to with the polybar. But I'm not promising anything. Probably two videos to add all the functionality, but whatever. Have a great day, everybody. See you. Bye.